Hello, welcome to my channel, Wing Spiritual Clarity. My name is Wendy Wing. I'm doing a reading for the collective. Welcome, collective. Hope you're doing well. Mm. All right. So this is a general reading. So take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, let's get started. So collective, in the past, you were in the energy of temptation, the devil, addiction, codependency. In the original um, tarot, the devil card, two people... <clears throat> have chains, loose chains around their neck that they could take off. So they, they're they deciding, they're choosing to stay chained to this energy, to each other. And they've spent so much time in this devil energy, this addiction, codependency, trauma bonding, getting trauma bonding type of energy that that they started to sprout little horns. They taken this energy on as part of their identity. I'm also getting from this image that something happened where you started turning your focus something got your attention maybe a series of things got your attention and you started seeing the toxicity seeing like oh i i'm in something that somewhere i don't want to be Being in this energy created a lot of delays or it feels like um, just being so stuck, not moving forward, choosing codependency, choosing a toxic bond. Created a, a lack of growth. So what I'm getting is that you kept asking for growth. You kept asking for change. And so that energy of your desire for growth and change, balance, reciprocity, that you put out such a strong asking for so long that eventually there was a gift from your guides of something slipping through and being able to see, oh, wait, 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 this isn't what I thought it was, or this isn't who I thought I was with. Maybe even seeing yourself clearly, like, what am I doing? Feels like you are asking and asking and asking for something to change, but very resistant to the real change that needed to happen. It's like, I want to stay with this toxic, in this toxic connection, but I want us to heal I want to stay in this toxic connection, but I want it magically to not be this toxic connection. Um, there's a, a fear of sacrificing this connection, even though this connection was the source of the toxicity. Feels like some of you, it was making you 
definitely emotionally and mentally unwell. But also, for some of you, it might have affected your physical health. The, I'm getting ahead of in the reading. I've, um, I'm seeing, but it feels like um, you tolerate, you have a habit of tolerating so much, tolerating mental abuse, mental manipulation, tolerating like depression, being sad. So tolerating emotional, feeling emotionally unwell. You have such a high tolerance and, and ignoring your own needs, maybe covering them up with distraction, maybe covering them up with numbing out, whether that's drugs, alcohol, distractions, not taking care of your mental and emotional health, maybe medications to, to so you could stay in this connection even though it was affecting your mental, emotional, and uh, quite possibly for some of you, your physical well-being, because you you learn to tolerate so much that that to you, how you were running your energy felt so normal to have that amount of discomfort, mental and emotional discomfort. Um, that it, it led to, it started bleeding out to physical symptoms. Some of you might have um, autoimmune issues. Autoimmune is your body, your own body attacking itself. Coming from like a lack of, of confidence. Some of you, um, Feels like it might be hormonal, some thyroids coming through, heart, heart issues, definitely um, body tension, a lot of um, like using your body as armor, like the, the muscles from being so tense. Do you remember what it? felt like to be relaxed, completely relaxed, not to have all these knots. All right, in present time, we're in the energy of three of cups in reverse. Rejoice in celebration. Right now it doesn't feel like you are rejoicing in celebration. It feels like um, ooh, some gossip coming through. Okay, I'll take that. There's something right now it feels like um, there's new energy coming in. A lot of you are closing out cycles and you can feel the new year energy. So you could feel 2023 energy. This is a timeless video, but you can feel new energy coming in, but it hasn't manifested into your experience yet. It hasn't manifested into the 3D. And so it's making you even more anxious, more impatient for what you're feeling coming in energetically for that to manifest. Some of you, there's still some, some work to be done, um, releasing some fears releasing for some of you frustration and anger has been coming up. There are new opportunities coming in. 
for some of you, it might be financial opportunities. And for some of you, I'm feeling this physical healing opportunities to find a balance, mental, emotional, and physical balance. So you have that vitality, more of a, your youthful energy. I'm getting that right now. You might be drawn to eating better, releasing addictive behaviors. Some type of physical activity or yoga or something bringing, it feels like just a real wanting to take care of your body. feels like you're you really there's there's just a call to cherish your body we're all taught to kind of use and abuse our bodies that the physical the 3d is is um profane it's not sacred your body is part of god's creation sacred too You didn't come into a 3D world to dislike the 3D, to resist, there we go, to resist the 3D, to not appreciate it. There's a real call to appreciate your body, to take care of it. Beautiful. All right, your family pattern we're looking at is spiritual strength in reverse. Knew this was going to come up today. Nine of wands in reverse. The wounded warrior. Right, family pattern. Oh, okay. And this is family of origin, family patterns, but this is also, I'm getting some ancestral energy coming through that you um, might not have fit into your family or you didn't feel like you fit into your family because you came in with a lot of um, beautiful nurturing energy. I'm getting some divine feminine energy. Doesn't mean that you can't be a male. We both have access, all male, female, genderless. We have access to feminine energy and masculine energies. Some people prefer one to the other. Some people, it depends what they're doing, where they're at. They can kind of shift gears. So what I'm getting is that you had access to more nurturing energy. And you came into this lifetime with a purpose whether you maybe if you're more awake to it now but for growth evolution to take action and what i'm getting is the family that of origin there's a real stuckness a desire to stay and not change you might have spoken a bit too much truth, some uncomfortable truths. So it feels like you've been battling for a long time. Maybe even battling your own nature because it was not appreciated.
the family of origin didn't have a lot of spiritual strength <clears throat> and you could have come from a very religious family but that's I'm still going to say that that doesn't mean that they're in touch with themselves connected with the divine having a, a controlling environment and rules for everyone of right and wrong maybe not setting the example of and embodying those rules but projecting those rules onto others whatever this is it doesn't have to be around religion at all it could just be a very rigid mindset a rigid way of being feels like um, you tolerated not being treated well in this family of origin. It, the family pattern is they don't really treat each other very well. There's not a lot, of, there's not loving connections. They might say love, they might say the words but there's no action to back it up. There's no, I'm not feeling a loving connection. It feels more like manipulation and control. Gaslighting. Feels like in your family of origin that you got used to mental cruelty, emotionally, emotional instability. And so in this past toxic connection, that felt pretty normal. Maybe it was a little bit better than your family of origin. And so you're like, oh, this is better. Maybe at first it was better and then it progressed to, but you, you just, the, again, the tolerance, tolerating abuse, let's call it what it is, mental abuse, emotional abuse, for some of you, physical abuse, even some sexual abuse. Whew. All right. These are heavy energies. You're clearing some core issues before um, going into something new so if you're you are in that three of cups in reverse like i don't feel anything to rejoice about i'm going through a really difficult time it's because you're you're getting deeper and deeper to those core issues to release them so you can move on so you can make different choices so you can have a different life so you can be the person you've always wanted to be all right a personal issue is harmony Six, partnership. I love how loving, lovingly they're looking into each other's eyes. They're really meeting each other. They're seeing each other. The, the hands together is such a beautiful um and right at the heart space level, their heart spaces are lit up. They're meeting each other. I see you. I hear you. Feels like what I've just described is what you've, you've always wanted. You've always wanted for people to see you, see you truly, instead of projecting their own toxic um, crap. That's the word that just keep crap, 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 toxic crap onto you. 
You wanted someone to really see you. I see you. I hear you. I value you. I'm needing you at the same place because I, I can tell you see me as well. You, you listen, you really listen to me. And just by talking about this, I can feel the heart spaces opening up, at least my own heart space opening up like, yes, how safe I would feel to have that heart space really open up and not have to guard itself. Feels like you have invested <clears throat> in people who you didn't know were toxic. Maybe you had some work to do yourself. You had some growth to do yourself. And so it's like planting seeds in unfertile soil where there's no water. And so very little grew. And what did grow didn't really produce anything of substance. Seems like you put a lot of hard work into this. It feels like putting so much of yourself into trying to fulfill this unmet needs from not being seen, not being heard, not being really loved and cherished as a child. And you've over given and there's just been a lot of toxicity choosing toxic connections and 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 then just so frustrated because you're not getting any results for the investment of your time your energy your love your care all right um your conscience what you would do if no one was there to judge you ace of swords triumphant success this has been coming up uh it's got a new we've got a full moon december 7th again this is a timeless reading however December 7th, 2022 is two days away when I'm recording this. And um, there's a lot of truth, speaking your truth. Speaking your truth so, so you can release this. So you can speak the truth directly to whoever has you, you perceive ha has traumatized you, has hurt you. Speaking your truth to others. Not, I feel like part of what's happened both in this past connection and family of origin is a lot of secret keeping, not telling the truth, maybe not knowing how to communicate. Maybe for a long time you were the scapegoat and so you didn't even, you kind of embodied that. But it feels like what's calming up is is speaking your truth. And by speaking your truth, you take back your power. You learn you, this inner courage, this inner strength. It's a power. Focusing that energy on yourself, on your truth. You are allowed to perceive things the way you're perceiving them. When speaking your truth, this came up yes in yesterday's reading, it's not about convincing the other person to see things from your point of view, because that's what's been done to you. I know you need to see things the way I'm seeing them and bullying you until you acquiesce. Really speaking your truth 
with no um, attachment to an outcome. Speaking your truth merely because it is your truth and you have, you are giving yourself permission to speak your truth. Speak your truth to the person, the source of the issue. Caveat, asterisk, if this is safe. For some of you, this if you are not physically safe, to do so, this is maybe speaking your truth to others around you, getting help, seeking help, seeking guidance, speaking your truth to someone else. For those of you who are safe to speak your truth, but you haven't really told the perpetrator of mental, emotional, and physical abuse. And the, if this resonates to, to speak your truth without needing to convince them, no attachment to the outcome, but I want you to know this is how I feel. This is how I perceive things. This is how I perceive you. Taking your power back. You don't have to see it the way I see it, but this is my truth. Boy, just talking about this, I feel this inner strength building up and um, like it frees up the heart space. It frees up the chakras to have permission, give your, giving yourself permission to have your own point of view. It doesn't have to be, um, people don't have to agree with it. All right. Um, in the center of your reading, your higher self is in the energy of seven of wands. Stand your ground, yes. Oh, yes, stand your ground. This is such a powerful card, powerful message. In the original tarot, the seven of wands, the person is on the higher ground. The person is you on the higher ground, defending, protecting. The people are below. The seven of wands is such a strength card. This whole second row is about taking back your power of, of acknowledging your inner strength. A lot of you have been um, put down throughout your life for your emotions, maybe deep emotions, strong emotions. They've weaponized your own emotions against you. Your emotions are part of who you are and your strength. What makes you so strong? You have so much compassion. You can comfort people. You have given so much comfort and compassion and care for others. Even after experiencing such a, a depletion for yourself, you've nurtured others. You've helped heal others. And now you're finding this emotional stability. And once you are emotionally stable, when you're not in your emotions, but you understand how to access your emotions, feel your emotions, honor your emotions, the 
then you have access to your intuition, to your higher self. When you are not, when you are in your emotions, it's hard to connect, to hear, to sense, to receive inspiration. But that's really beautiful. Remembering that your emotions aren't your weakness. If you are a very emotional person, how can you switch that script so you see and use your emotions as a strength? All right. Um, your challenge right now is base chakra. This I'm getting is that, that um, your base chakra is where you sit, maybe in the pelvic region, that this chakra deals with um, physical 3D issues, your stability, security, safety, work, body, your health, your home. What I'm getting your challenge right now, you might be having some physical issues. I, right off the bat, at the beginning of the reading, I felt this, um, the culmination of, of tolerating so much mental and emotional distress has taken a toll on your body, on your health. Some of you might be exhausted right now, physically depleted. And then being mad at your body for not, you know, I'll drink more coffee to, to compensate for that. And instead, what I'm getting is it's, it's time to listen to your body. What type of food does your body need? What type of movement to make you, your body feel better, to stretch, to... You know, do you need a massage? Do you need to go to the doctor and have a checkup? How can I take care of my body? It doesn't feel like you've had a lot of support throughout your life. Not in your family of origin, at least, and not in this um, connection from the past. So... How can I show up for myself? How can I really feel these emotions, allow myself, stay with myself when I'm feeling really intense emotions? How can I share the same compassion and love and care and nurturing that I share with others? How can I turn that towards myself? How can I honor my body and when it's tired, take care of it? Do you need a mental health day? Do you need to take off of work if you can? Do you need to go on vacation? Do you need to meditate and quiet that mind and really clear the distractions from your mind so you can really allow yourself to feel like, oh my gosh, I. I feel this charge in my body. I feel this exhaustion from mental and emotional depletion. And I didn't know it's time to touch base. All right. So I'm going to take this um, into an extended. And in the extended, I'll look at your desire, the lesson, advice. Um, I'm also doing um, a psychic meditation where we look at any blocks so you can clear those blocks, probably base chakra and solar plexus chakras uh, coming up.
in the reading. And so clearing any blocks and then amplifying what you do want. Feels like it, it will be very physically, definitely around physicality, any blocks where you can't, you're unaware of how to heal that, your physical body. Maybe you've tolerated so much, you've also tolerated a lot of physical discomfort as well. So I'm just, I'm curious to see what that is. So I'll meet you over in the extended. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. Bye.